Pull the quads up, extend the spine, forward bend. Yes. I don't care how far in front of you your hands are. You really want to get a feeling of the balls of the feet pressing through the floor, the quads pulling up into the hip sockets. Yes. Don't drift back onto your heels. And then just keep reaching the spine long and forward, long and forward. Really keep feeling the line press through that low back. Push from the low back and then ride it out the rest of the way. Push from the low back. Yes, there you go. As you push from the low back, you should feel that go all the way through the spine and out through the chest. You can even use that with the inhale. Inhale, push it and reach. Exhale, just feel the hip sockets. Relax as your pelvis is revolving forward over them. Energize the spine. Take the arms to the side. Flatten the back. Inhale, calm up. Exhale, right arm under left. Eagle balance arms. Palms together. Flatten if you can. If not, just grab. Pull the shoulder blades down. And then push your right elbow forward. Bend the knees, suck your guts up, shift your weight to your left leg, cross your right leg over. Hook it if you can. If you can't, just keep the inner thigh squeezing. This is more about the inner thigh line than hooking the foot. If you can hook the foot, go for it. The left leg stays bent. Go down as low as you feel comfortable. Keep the energy line working from your pubic bone up into your chest and then push the elbows forward. The more forward you push the elbows, the more stretch you get through the back. Keep your neck relaxed. Keep the shoulders pressing down as they go forward. Yes, keep reaching straight ahead. Keep pressing through the second toe. Pressing through the second toe. Keep the stomach lifted. Keep the stomach lifted. Try to keep your hands right on top of your elbows. Yes. Inhale, unwrap, and step open to your right. Nice and wide.